Hi, my name is Johannes Wilm and in this tutorial I want to show you how to create new templates in Fighter Spider 3.7 and a concrete example that we'll use here is that we need in a template that not only has one abstract but has an abstract in a second language. The so first thing we do is we go on templates and there by default we just see the system installed templates that we cannot modify. In fighterswriter.com there's currently only one an a template which is standard article but I can copy it and make my own version of it. So I select it, duplicate it, I have a second entry here and you can see the second line this one I can delete and this one I can also add it by clicking on the title of it. So the first thing we want to do is we want to change the name of it so Let's call it uh, multilingual article, and also the ID. The ID is being used for importing and exporting, so that it understands which template a given article is referring to. So multilingual article, and in this first section here, we see the different parts of an article or sections, however you want to take it. And uh, so in this case it has title, all documents will always have need a title, and everything else is optional. And for the standard article, the sections are heading, this uh, the first is a heading, which is a subtitle, and there's authors, which is a name list, abstract, which is a rich text component, keyword, which is ta which is a tag list, and body which is another rich text component. Um, the different colors tell you the type of, of it. So this type of blue, the subtitle, means it's a heading and over here you can see all the different types and I can drag more in, in here and I can change the order of them and that way I can um, add or uh, remove sections. If I want to, for example, if I want to remove the name list, I can drag it into delete and then it's gone. But in this case, we'll keep it. And all we want to do is we want to add another abstract and we want to make some minor changes to it. So we take another rich text component, drag it after abstract, and call this one. We want to have a German abstract, so we call it abstract de. And the title, that's really just for the UI, so here I call it the same in German. So Zusammenfassung, which means abstract in German. Now there are more options for each of these, so we look at, we look at some of those. The, the, uh, the options that are available for each depend on the type of, of element. So here this is a rich text component, both of them are, so we want to copy most of what we have in abstract, but uh, you can see, so the first part is the metadata function, it's an abstract, and there's a number of different uh, metadata functions it could be. This is important mainly for exports, so, so the exporter needs to know what the point of this part is. The next one is locking, whether or not the user can change the contents, of this, um, either you can have it, you can have the user change, you can have the user not be able to change it, or the user can only be uh, able to add content. And it's this last option we want to use in this case, and I'll show you why in a second. So now uh, any initial content will stay. The next part is about what elements we allow. In this case, we allow everything, so we also want to do that in the German version and allowed marks, so that's sort of the styling, we allow everything except underline. The Normally the abstract is in the language of the document, but now we want to change it to it being in UK English, and the second one in German from Germany. Um, you can see that the abstract is an optional field that's not shown by default, Let's change that to optional but shown by default. Also do the same to the German one. Okay. 
Okay, and so the reason I wanted to set it to user can only add content is because here we can see uh, we can exemplify another feature, which is to add initial content. So you can many times see in in, in journals that all the abstracts uh, have to start with the word abstract. So let's start that here, and then I style the word abstract in bold and I left one space here and the space is not styled and that's important so that subsequent text doesn't automatically get the styling okay the same for the German version okay and Normally there are no instructions because it's quite clear what a an abstract does, but um, in this case let's try to add some. Okay, so now we have these two sections, should be fairly similar, except the language. Okay, I close the configure elements, and so below the document structure, there are a number of settings that are sort of global for the entire, for the entire template. So for example, for footnotes, here you can specify what can be in footnotes, we just leave it as it is. Then we can set the default language, which in this case we'll set to English UK. We could set a uh, custom bibliography headers in various languages. Otherwise, it'll just take whatever's the default. We'll just stick with the default. And then below that, you can see here we can uh, select which available citation styles there are. And here there's a list of two th more than 2,000 styles. These come from the Citation Styles Languages project. So that's basically everything that that is out there. And you can choose which one of those should be default. We'll just leave those as they are. Um, then there's Export Templates and Document Styles. These two are for the Document Styles is to use the to, to specify the styling that it uses when showing in the browser and when exporting to HTML based formats such as EPUB or HTML itself and the export templates this is so you can upload a ODT and docx files so that it exports uh, it can export into those files and it knows exactly where to put which section in this case, let's just keep the export templates as they are, which basically means that the German abstract won't be added to it, but we can take a small look. So um, you can see, so the, the file in this case is called classic for docx, and it, these are the, the sections that it has found. It's found a title, a subtitle, authors, abstract, keywords, body, and bibliography. It hasn't found an abstract DE, which is the new section, which is not that strange because we just added it and it's not in the in the template file. Um, that we can look at in another tutorial. But what we will do is we'll take one of these document styles and here is basically all this CSS that's being used for styling it. Um, now in this, there's a little part about the abstract. and we want to also use this for the German abstract. So let's add the German abstract there. And that should be it. So we save it. Then we save the template. and then we close it. 
Okay, now you can see it's called multilingual article. If I now go back to my documents, there used to be just one button here, create new document, but now that I have more than one template, it's actually a drop down list. So now I have to choose between standard article and multilingual article. So let's take the multilingual article. Okay, and so as you can see, it now has both sections, abstract and zusammenfassung. You can we can go into the optional sections because we made both of them optional. They can be turned off, although they are on by by default. Okay, so let's call this my first article. And not only will it know these languages for exporting, but even if I uh, try, let's let's try to fill this out and then s try to spell check it. As you may have noticed, there are uh, spelling mistakes in both. So if we now use the spelling and grammar checker, yes, it found both of them. So it does know that the first one is in English, and it found finds the English error in there, and it knows that the second one is German, and it found the error in there. And here on the right, you can see the instructions that are connected with the section with the given section and that's it i hope to hear back from many of you as to how this feature has helped you and whether we should continue to work more with templates or whether the functionality that we have already is what all that you need but i'm really excited that we finally have this feature in fighters writer